love you later. Love you. Bye, baby. Oh, bye, my baby girl. So I thought I'd just stop and like fill you in a little bit on why I went to the camera house because I don't think I explained that before. So I recently got this new Canon EOS M50 camera courtesy of my boyfriend. He bought it for me, which was so beautiful. Thanks, baby, so much. But yeah, so if you guys can't tell, I'm kind of still working out the kinks a little bit. So if it's a little bit laggy or the brightness is a bit high or, you know, anything like that, I'm still working it out, so bear with me. But I went into the camera house to grab a camera bag because I have an extra lens in the 11 to 22 millimeter as well as the standard one that comes with this camera, which is 15 to 45. So I got the ProMaster camera bag, which also comes with like a wet weather coat. So if I'm out in the rain, this will come out and it's like a kind of wet weather cover to cover the whole bag in, which is really cool because last time I went traveling in Croatia, we got caught out we were climbing this mountain. It was a full day hike. We got caught out and it absolutely was like torrential rain. It soaked all the way through the camera bag. We had the camera bag in our backpack and it still soaked all the way through the backpack, all the way through the camera bag. Thank goodness the camera was okay, but considering that scenario that happened to me, I was like, this bag is everything. Like, I need the wet weather gear. Plus this can also fit an extra lens inside. So you've got the little handle here. You put the camera in here with the lens. The standard the standard lens it comes with and the lady was saying you also have room for another lens inside as well which is so good and it's really compact and small so it did retail for $74 but the lady brought it down for me to 64 which was really nice of her I was always so appreciative when people are so generous and do that so yeah that's kind of like just catching you up on that all at this point in time oh and I can't believe I haven't already mentioned this already so I finally booked my flights to Canada <laughs> Yay! so I know it's been a long time waiting I finally actually did it I booked Air Canada and I did from I think I'm taking off from Sydney stopping in Vancouver and then from Vancouver I'm going to Montreal I'm so so excited the price was a little bit dear like I did budget for 2000 um, Australian, obviously. Um, and it ended up being around 2,100. Fortunately, actually, I was such an idiot. Oh, I was so silly. I actually booked, I booked the wrong flights the first time. So what I accidentally did is I booked my departure date on the wrong month. I've never been good with June and July, and I booked for July instead of June. Oh, oh it was such a blonde moment. It was so bad. I couldn't believe I'd done it either, and the flight was so much more cheaper. Because I refreshed, like, my cookies and everything to see if I could get the cheapest, uh, like, flight price. And it had originally been 2000 and I refreshed it. It was only 1600 and I was like, oh, damn, this trick really works. Like, wow, I've saved, like, $500. No, I just booked the wrong month. I'd put July instead of June in. So I'd booked the flight, like, paid for it, and then I'd realise, like, oh, my God, I've, I've booked the wrong month. So thank goodness Air Canada does do, like, a full refund. So, like, I cancelled my booking. Um, I have to wait like two to three weeks before I get my refund but I do get my full refund thank goodness and then I've just rebooked the flight for the right month I've had enough money for a while to pay for my flights thank goodness so it's not like I spent all of my savings on my flight and then have to wait till I've saved up again or had my refund re 
like refunded <laughs> to be able to pay for my flight so thank god <laughs> the funny thing is like i actually did double check i even like checked with my sister i was like okay read out the information and i'll listen and i'll see if i pick up anything wrong and i didn't pick up the fact that it was july not june I've never been good with those two months. I always get them confused. But yeah, it's funny looking back on it, kind of. I'm still a little bit like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. But it is what it is. I've got my full refund. I've booked the correct flight. So we good. We good. I'm just in this room now because it's nice and quiet and there's a nice breeze coming through. It's quite muggy today, even though I'm rocking like the trackies look. I'm still like, it's like it was cold this morning and now it's like muggy. But I think I might film a tutorial before I have to go to the gym. Guys, also let me know if you do want to see my like updated gym routine. Because I have incorporated incorporated I have incorporated core work and booty work. So if you guys do want to see my booty and core workouts. So you know, let me know if you do want me to vlog it. Oh my god, I just love how clear this camera is and how convenient it is to hold. Like, legit, if you go and see, I've got the stand. The camera's a lot smaller because I was vlogging with my Canon 80D, which is a little it's a bit big, like, if I'm being honest. This is nice and compact and small. And, like, it's just so convenient to hold. It's just so much easier. But, yeah. So, I guess I'll hit you guys up before I go to the gym. Okay, guys, so I'm just about to head off to the gym. I'm doing the 4.30 class, so it's a little bit earlier than what I usually do. I prefer to go to the 6.30 p.m. class just because it's so much cooler. Right now, it's still pretty hot and muggy, but I'm going with some friends to the gym, so I was like, oh, we'll do this time. I actually am not technically meant to be doing gym today because I just had laser done and they prefer you not to go because um, it aggravates your skin but I talked to the lady and she was like oh it's alright if you do a little bit of like light exercise so like light weights and stuff like that sorry I had something on my finger <sighs> can't get it off so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just going to the gym and doing some weights so yeah So I've just been to the gym and I just made my post kind of gym smoothie. Basically it's like a protein shake but I like to make it more of a smoothie. I'm not the biggest fan of the flavour of the protein powder hence why I put a lot of other stuff into it. So I put a frozen banana, a cup and a half of coconut milk, cinnamon, flaxseed meal, some slippery elm which is to help my gut. Slippery elm is really good to like reline the gut and everything. The slippery elm is kind of like a boost for me. And I also put in a little like capful of vanilla essence and then the protein powder. The protein powder is vanilla flavored, so I don't really need the vanilla essence, but I'm not the biggest fan of the vanilla powder flavor. I don't know. I just prefer the vanilla essence in there, it makes it taste really good. And then I think that's it. But yeah. So I'm going to wrap up today's vlog. I'm going to continue editing and then probably just watch a movie later with my family. I have a double shift tomorrow. So I'm not looking forward to that so much. But it'll be good. My paycheck will make me happy. <laughs> so thank you guys for joining me today on this vlog. I'm not sure what the theme of this vlog is going to be yet. Also, if you like this vlog, make sure to give it a big thumbs up before you leave. And I hope you have an amazing week. I love you all so much. Bye.